This is the TireMaster F2212. It is an entry-level 2-bay NAS or network-attached storage. It is comparable to the Synology DS223J, which retails for around $189. However, this one costs only around $169. So at such a low barrier of entry, this should be something that home and personal users can consider as their first or their introductory network storage solution. So let's go and check it out. So first of all, this package came directly from TerraMaster in China. I have been asking TerraMaster if they have an official distributor in the Philippines. So far, it doesn't seem like they do. They don't really have a strong local presence yet, so hopefully that will change soon. Over here, we have the power supply unit. Okay, this is interesting. There's a compensation promise that states that if there's a failure within 30 days after purchase, you can have it replaced. And on top of that, you get an additional six months warranty. Wow, that's really nice to know. Okay, quick installation guide. So apparently it's online. You have to scan it using the QR code or head over to start.teramaster.com. So let's go one by one. The left and the right panel of the chassis have vents for circulation and for, you know, for ventilation. Now the back side has a fan. And what I'm seeing right here is one USB 3 port, one USB 2 port, a LAN port, and a DC port for your power supply. You also have a power button over here and it seems that you can detach the back with a regular Phillips screw. Now looking at the bottom, you have additional vents and rubber feet. Now the front of the F2212 is where things start to get interesting. So I'm seeing two LED lights right here, one and two, probably activity indicators for each drive. Then this one appears to be the power indicator. Each drive base supports up to 22 terabytes of capacity for a total of 44 terabytes in RAID level 0. This also expands the functionality of the F2212 because you will be able to perform hot swapping of disk drives. So this isn't something that you normally see in an entry level NAS. Looking at the drive bay, I noticed that there are four holes for the screws which we showed earlier and this is where the 2.5 inch SSD is supposed to go so that if you screw it, it will align directly to the SATA connector that's inside the appliance. So let's go ahead and take out both drive bays. I'm seeing two SATA connectors and a fan. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble the back panel. Here's a closer look at that fan. Look inside, we have the board over here and powering the F2212 is a quad-core Realtek Cortex-A55 chip. It has one gig of memory. It is capable of 4K hardware video transcoding. And that for me is really good value because you will be able to take advantage of it if you're gonna be running a media server such as Plex or any other service that takes advantage of hardware video transcoding. So here are the contents of the package. If you get a F2212, this is what you're gonna get out of the box. 
Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these clips. So the arrow has to be over here. Same goes for the other side. Okay, seems secure enough. It's not falling off. I'm aligning the SSD with the holes. And when I do, I'm gonna have to push, which means this clip right here is gonna fall off. So let's go ahead and take it out. I can't fit this clip, so I really have to remove it if I'm gonna be using this drive. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but the ambient noise is much louder than the noise that's coming from the fan. It's super, super silent. Airmaster OS is Linux based. It is the one that powers this entire system. You can run things on the Terramaster OS. Since it's Linux based, you can also run containers. You can also run Docker if you are that advanced type of user that wants to use a NAS to run other services. Like uh, let's say you want to create your own VPN or your own web hosting service, then you can do that. Okay, so now that I've had a chance to explore the Terramaster F2-212, I just want to say a few things. First, the build quality. It looks too much like a PSU or a power supply unit or a UPS. I wish this could have a slightly more visual flair. I do appreciate the vents with the Terramaster logo. The best thing about the F2212 are the hot swappable base. And this is what sets it apart from the Synology equivalent. Now, as I mentioned, this is going to be my first time to use Terramaster devices. So I've yet to explore TOS and T-RAID. But from what I've seen, it looks promising. If you're going to be using this as a file server or as a media server. And like I said, you can also run containers on this system. And the best thing about it is hardware transcoding support. So if you plan to run a Plex server, that is really going to help. So hopefully there will be more support for Terramaster products in the Philippines. In the meantime, if you guys have any questions about the Terramaster F2212, drop them in the comments section. Feel free to message us on social media. Check us out at youtube.com slash techkuya for more tech videos. This has been Kuya Den. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.